the same software that is being used to make the games is now being used to make movies. You've probably seen a movie, a streaming series, a TV show that have been filmed using this technique. Ever since I've heard about the developments that Unreal Engine have been pushing with regards to kind of combine the mediums of video games and movies, and pretty much every month was actually the latest announcements of GDC that um, Unreal Engine has released, we see more and more and more of intersection between movies and video games. Actually, Noah, I would love probably for you to chime in, like, what have you seen um, as an Aerosac for video games and movies in the last couple of years? And maybe what do you see as a future for those two mediums combining? Yeah, well, I mean, there's lots of ways they intersect. I mean, and in the, in the abstract, of course, there's always been video games about movies or movies that are derived from video games. So there's always been that crossover in terms of you see intellectual property kind of go from one area to the other. But um, lately, it's the tools that are actually crossing over because movies have traditionally used kind of slow uh, post-rendering tools to make all their visuals. You know, apps like Maya, 3D Studio, Blender, things like that are, are what are traditionally used to create visual effects. Now, because game engines are looking so real and so uh, high quality and they're able to do everything in real time, we're now being able to put the visual effects directly in front of the camera as we're filming them. And, and tools like Unreal Engine are what are really powering this. So the same uh, software that is being used to make the games is now being used to make movies. And you've seen, you've probably seen a movie, a streaming series, a TV show that's, or music video that have been filmed using this technique. So you've, you've seen game engine technology come right into the movies. So it's, you know, it's just kind of a natural progression. How do you feel the is the adoption rates uh, of the integrating of a gaming technology into movies right now? Like, is it 2%, 10%? Uh, what do you think would be the growing rate in the next three to five years? It's accelerating quickly. You know, um, in 2019, the first kind of major project that came out that was using game engine technology directly in front of the camera was The Mandalorian, the Star Wars series. And they just kicked off their third season. So, I mean, you don't get much bigger than, you know, a Star Wars, Disney, Lucasfilm kind of show. Um, and that kind of opened up the floodgates. So in the past two to three years, you've we've seen uh, a big proliferation of LED volumes, basically studios that have a giant LED wall or kind of a, you know, a sort of a curved screen with a, with a ceiling that's also LEDs that's all being powered by game engine footage. And that went from... Two, three years ago, there were maybe 10 of those in the world, and now there are hundreds. And each one of those facilities is, you know, a, a tens of millions of dollars investment. So you're, it's, it's definitely taking over quite a bit. Uh, the last couple of big uh, Marvel superhero movies like Ant-Man 3 and uh, Thor, I guess, 4, I think, or maybe 4 or 3, whatever the most recent Thor movie was, were all shot with this technology. So, I mean, it, it's definitely at the very top end and it's sort of slowly kind of coming down to more modest productions, you know, like the kind of, the kind of setup I have in here is, is a good example. It's a very small screen, but I can do, I can easily do like dialogue scenes. I can do two to three people standing head to toe in front of it. And, you know, it's by not, not any means by uh, Disney money that's, that's powering it. So 